welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. We turn once again to Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 to 32. Today I'm going to read it from the message paraphrase. The old way has to go. And so I insist, and God backs me up on this, that there be no going along with the crowd, the empty-headed, mindless crowd. They've refused for so long to deal with God that they've lost touch not only with God, but with reality itself. They can't think straight any more. Feeling no pain, they let themselves go in sexual obsession, addicted to every sort of perversion. But that's no life for you. You learned Christ. My assumption is that you have paid careful attention to him, been well instructed in the truth precisely as we have it in Jesus. Since then, we do not have the excuse of ignorance. Everything, and I do mean everything, connected with that old way of life has to go. It's rotten through and through. Get rid of it, and then take on an entirely new way of life. A God-fashioned life, a life renewed from the inside and working itself into your conduct as God accurately reproduces his character in you. What this adds up to, then, is this. No more lies, no more pretense. Tell your neighbour the truth. In Christ's body, we're all connected to each other, after all. When you lie to others, you end up lying to yourself. Go ahead and be angry. You do well to be angry, but don't use your anger as fuel for revenge. And don't stay angry. Don't go to bed angry. Don't give the devil that kind of foothold in your life. Did you use to make ends meet by stealing? Well, no more. Get an honest job so that you can help others who can't work. Watch the way you talk. Let nothing foul or dirty come out of your mouth. Say only what helps, each word a gift. Don't grieve God. Don't break his heart. His Holy Spirit moving and breathing in you is the most intimate part of your life, making you fit for himself. Don't take such a gift for granted. Make a clean break with all cutting, backbiting, profane talk. Be gentle with one, one another, sensitive. Forgive one another as quickly and thoroughly as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Verse 23 of our passage says, Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. If you want to change a bad habit, what do you do? It's not enough to want to change it. It requires us to make a choice, and to make a choice to act differently. And that starts with changing the way you think. Pastor Rick Warren says, The battle for sin starts in your mind, not in your behaviour. Why? Because how we think determines how we feel. And how we feel determines the way we act. If I say, I need to be more kind, that's not enough. It's not going to make me more kind. I need to change the way I think about those I want to show kindness to. Thinking about them differently will help me feel kind towards them, and that will help me to show kindness in the way I act towards them. Our thought life is so powerful. So where do we find the strength to change the way we think? Paul encourages us to let the Holy Spirit renew our thoughts and our attitudes. He is the only one powerful enough to effect permanent changes in the way we think. The Holy Spirit has the power to help us make a U-turn in our thinking. That's what it means to repent of our sin. We start with how we think about our sin, rather than simply stopping what we know to be wrong. Repentance leads to forgiveness. And that leads to a new sense of purpose and a change in the way we act. 
If you want to make a change, then pray this prayer with me now. Dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways, reclothe us in our rightful mind, in purer lives thy service find, in deeper reverence, praise. During the day today, why not think about the following? What do you need the Holy Spirit to help you start thinking in order to make the change you most want to make in life? And I'll see you again soon for another battle drill. We hope you have been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army and join us again soon for our next daily devotional, Battle Drill. God bless you.